What's up, LHS? It's Sutton with your Blue Devil News. Yearbooks will be delivered the week of May 6th. If you haven't ordered a yearbook yet, you can still get one on yearbookforever.com, the bank, or in B305. Faculty cost is $50. Student cost is $85. A color guard clinic will be held next Saturday, April 27th, from 1 to 5 p.m. at Winfrey Bryant. This is open to any student to learn how to twirl flags, rifles, and other equipment. Trial information for next year's marching band will also be given at the clinic. Rising 9th through 12th grade students are eligible to try out for the marching season. The schedule is messed up for the next couple of days. Tomorrow goes second, first, third, then fourth, and there will be no focus. Thursday will be regular schedule, but second will be just a little bit longer. And Friday is regular schedule. What's up, LHS? This is Austin back with your weather. And today, going into the end of the day, this afternoon, it'll be around 72 degrees, so y'all are good to go ahead and roll the windows down this afternoon when we get out of school. But going into tomorrow morning, it'll be around 54 degrees, so maybe a little chilly. It wouldn't be a bad idea to put a light jacket on, stay warm. But anyways, that's all for me, and to JD with your sports. Teachers, you were given a slip with info about your seniors' library items. These items are due Monday. April 24th is the Academic Honors Banquet. It starts at 6.30. A man faces felony ch a felony charge after setting fire to a trash can outside of West Nashville Walgreens. According to Metro Nashville Police, officers were called to the Walgreens on Charlotte Avenue late Monday night for a fire set outside the store. An employee told officers the man, later identified as David Nimchek, or Nimichek, I don't know, lit the trash can outside the store on fire. Video surveillance showed Nimichek set in the blaze, according to police. A woman is in critical condition after being hit by a vehicle while attempting to cross Lebanon Pike Monday night, officials said. According to the Metro Nashville Police Department, the crash happened on Monday, April 22nd, just before 9 p.m. Authorities said that the woman was struck after she had left the Thornton's gas station and was trying to cross the road to the Hermitage Inn. The woman was wearing a dark clothing and was not in the crosswalk when the crash occurred, officials said. According to the MNPD, the woman sustained critical injuries and was taken to the Skyline Medical Center. No other information about the incident was immediately released. She needs to watch for sure. Oh, now let's check on the weather with Josh. Hi, Alagis. It's JD with your sports. Baseball will play today at home at 6 against Stewart Creed. Softball will play Smyrna at home at 6.30. Men's volleyball won against Upperman and will play at Green Hill tonight at 6. Soccer will play Laverne today at home at 7. Track and field will compete in the subsectional on May 1st. The Preds will play game two at 9 in Vancouver. That's all for sports. Let's get back to Sutton. That's all for today. See you later.